Hi there, Mark Costner here from DreamweaverMadeSimple.com. Welcome to our Dreamweaver tutorial series, Create a Basic Web Page, Part 4. Now if you haven't already seen tutorials 1, 2 and 3, then pop on over to www.DreamweaverMadeSimple.com forward slash blog. There you'll find all the previous videos that are part of this series and you'll also find a whole range of other Dreamweaver tips and tricks and tutorials that'll help you get the most out of Dreamweaver and you'll also get your website up and running looking as professional as possible in no time. Now in our last video we took a look at how to insert your page graphics and you discovered how with a little bit of planning and forethought you were able to put your website together in no time and have a professional looking website done in a matter of minutes. Today's video we're going to take a look at the four different types of websites. So let's get right into it. Firstly we're going to take a look at information sites. Now information sites are sites that provide the visitor with any sort of information on a product, a service or even a general topic. And we'll cover that in a bit more detail in a few moments. Next, we're going to take a look at e-commerce sites. And as far as I'm concerned, an e-commerce site is any site that sells anything from one single product up to thousands of products through a shopping cart sort of system. Next, we're going to take a look at service sites. Service sites are the sort of websites that actually provide a service. In other words, the site itself is a service. We'll take a look at them and discuss why they're there and what they're actually used for. And finally, we're also going to take a look at lead capture sites. I'll explain once again why we have them and how to use them to your best advantage. Now this information is going to be of great interest especially if you're planning on building your website for any sort of online business. So let's get started with an information site. Here we have an example of an information based site. Now this particular site is providing information on a topic and that particular topic is Dreamweaver. So let's take a look at it. As you can see, you can select different types of tutorials. So in this case, let's select the Dreamweaver CS3 tutorials. We're presented with a long list of all the various tutorials available on the site. We can click on one of them to actually view the tutorial. The actual tutorial itself, a video along with all the text and screenshots as well. So as you can see, the purpose of this site is to provide the user with information on a particular topic. And in this case, the topic is Dreamweaver. Next, let's take a look at a basic e-commerce website. So let's take a look at this example of an e-commerce site. We're going to start with a website that sells just one single product. In fact, our own DreamweaverMadeSimple.com website sells just one single product on the site. This type of site is known as a mini site. It can consist of one single page or up to three or four or five supporting pages. Now the, the purpose of this website, as I said, is to sell the one single product. So it provides all the information that a visitor could possibly need to help them in their purchasing decision. Now here's another example of an e-commerce website. This particular website sells a whole range of products to the user. It's basically one big shopping cart with a list of hundreds and hundreds of different products. For example, here you've got a list of computers and displays and storage equipment and everything else you could possibly imagine. You can click on the options, browse through the site, View images of all the different products. Select the ones that are of interest to you and then actually make a purchase. So both of these sites that I've just shown you are both e-commerce websites although they are very different types of sites. The next site type that we're going to take a look at is a service website. This website 
idomainsmadesimple.com is an actual service site. In other words, the website itself is a service that's provided to its visitors. In this case, iDomains Made Simple is a domain registration website. So the purpose of this website is obviously to sell domain names online. But it also provides a service and that's the registration and management of the actual domain names. Another great example of a service website is good old Google. Google in itself is a service. It's a search engine which provides the visitors with a service. Now here's an example of a very clever lead capture page. Now this particular web page belongs to a very successful internet marketer called John Reese, and it's one of the lead capture pages that he used during a recent marketing campaign. Very cleverly done. As you can see the whole page basically consists of a video an email capture box and a little bit of text. The idea of this website is to establish a connection with the visitor through the video and then ask the visitor to provide their email address. The email address will then go into a follow-up marketing system where the owner of the website can stay in contact with the visitor providing them with more information, tips or valuable content that the visitor can actually use. The purpose of this is to begin to build a relationship with the person visiting the website. You see, a lot of people don't know this, but it takes between 7 and 12 contacts between the seller and the buyer before many people are actually ready to buy. Using this sort of process, it makes it much easier for the seller to stay in contact with the buyer. Well, they're the main four website types. I hope you paid close attention, especially if you're considering any sort of online business. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial brought to you by DreamweaverMadeSimple.com. If you'd like to discover how to create stunning looking web pages using Dreamweaver in no time, then pop on over to DreamweaverMadeSimple.com and get your hands on the free 15-part Dreamweaver tutorial that will take you step by step through building your whole website using Dreamweaver. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you over there.